What's up everyone? Hope everyone is having an awesome week. Um, still wanted to do a little video today, just something a little bit different. I uh, wanted to share my Star Wars vinyl soundtracks. Um, sort of only been collecting these since the Force Awakens one came out. Um, my wife got me got me that as a gift and that was the one with the cool um, sort of hologram Millennium Falcon and TIE Fighter on the disc when you project light onto the actual vinyl itself while it's spinning. Um, so since then I've sort of I've gone and collected the rest that is up to date so far. Um, Solo should be out anytime, sometime later this year I think. Um, I haven't actually looked up whether there's a release date yet so I assume that will come soon but I wanted to go through them um, because they're, they're pretty awesome. I've got them all in like little uh, plastic sleeves but I will just sort of take them out as I go one by one and I'll, I'll put them back in later that's fine. So we'll start off, uh, we'll just go through the numeric films, start off with Star Wars Episode 1. Uh, this is a really good soundtrack. The prequels had some absolutely incredible music, John Williams. Um, some really fantastic stuff. Duel of the Fates is obviously um, the standout, but uh, I really like Anakin's theme. Um, I'm just sort of looking at the back. There's some, yeah, some really good stuff on this soundtrack. So there's the uh, tracks on the back. And I'll just sort of open the uh, double gatefold thing here. It's just sort of, um, yeah, just a little note there from John Williams and uh, George Lucas. So I'm not, I'm not going to take the discs out, but there is um, some more. Some of them have some extra information in them. Um, I got the six films as part of a um, six, like a six box set, basically. Um, my wife got that for me last year. I'll worry about that later. Um, so that was really cool. It was a nice way to, to get them all. Um, and, you know, add them to the collection. Here we got Attack the Clones. Again, pretty good soundtrack. Um, unfortunately, I believe that uh, John Williams didn't really get a, get as much time to do to write original a lot of original music for Attack of the Clones. So we hear a lot of um, we hear a lot of music from Episode One in Attack of the Clones, um, particularly later in the film. There's quite a lot of uh, just carryover soundtracks from Episode One. That's why the, I guess the soundtrack tends to be a, a little bit shorter, it seems, seems to be a li little bit shorter anyway, but there's still some great stuff like the Camino themes, um, Across the Stars is a great, great theme, Django's Escape, there's some, there's some pretty, pretty amazing stuff in this soundtrack as well, so. There's the inside with Obi-Wan's battle with Django Fett on Camino. And uh, yeah, still like to get that on our CD, the deluxe episode one soundtrack. And of course, now we go to episode three, Revenge of the Sith. This is a another quality soundtrack. There's some really dark stuff on here. Um, look at Anakin's betrayal. Um, Padme's Ruminations is a really, really sort of haunting track. That's one of my favourites from this. Anakin's Dark Deeds, that's that's pretty amazing as well. Um, but yeah, there's some really good stuff on this soundtrack as well. I'm a massive fan of uh, John Williams and his soundtracks, particularly Star Wars. So um, yeah, there's not a lot I don't like, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, just picking out a few favourite tracks as I... Um, as I go through, there's the thing though. And it's a nice, nice one. So now we go back to the original. And I actually have an original copy which I'll show at the end. Um, these are pretty much uh, cop exact copies, the way they sort of printed them and the way they look. They didn't sort of follow the themes from episodes one to three. 
So this is how the original one would have looked uh, back in the 70s. It's an amazing, iconic print of Vader on the back. I love that. I love that picture. I really do. On the inside, there was a lot of um, just sort of screenshots from the film. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if the copy has a poster in it, um, but there is there is a poster. Um, so yeah, it, they really did replicate this soundtrack really well. Um, so there's sort of X-wings flying. I won't completely unfold it, but X-wings flying through space with the Death Star in the background, some Y-wings. Yeah, I'm so. I actually like to get that framed one day, maybe the original. Um, so try and keep that nice and safe. But I think there was a book in this one as well. No, just just a couple of sheets of liner notes. So that's cool. Um, yeah, this is again absolutely classic. Like like the film, it's a classic soundtrack. Um, yeah, <laughs> the whole soundtrack's fantastic. Um, the the original copy I have is from my father-in-law, and uh, my wife told me that you know he used to play that a lot when they were kids, when she was a kid, to uh, to the point where it annoyed her quite a lot. So that's funny. But um, you know, moving on to Empire Strikes Back, this amazing artwork on the front of Vader, not as cool as the other image from. Uh, a New Hope from the back of the New Hope soundtrack or Star Wars soundtrack, but I really like the uh, start that Star Wars Empire Strikes Back logo. And then we have the poster on the back, Vader in the background, really cool stuff. Empire is another really great soundtrack. Um, so, again, some shots, and then on this side, there is sort of a bit of a book. Um, with some images, some notes, some credits, just describing some of the shots. So that's, fortunately, um, it's quite a heavy book and the staples, the way it's sort of, they've sort of stuck it onto the inside fold of the, um, the record. So the staples are sort of pulled away from it and ripped. So I've, I have had to tape that in, unfortunately, but what can you do? Return of the Jedi. Um, cover of this is one of my favourite Return of the Jedi uh, posters holding the lightsaber up I think that's really cool and a slightly smaller soundtrack in terms of uh, what's on here because it's only a one disc this is only a one disc soundtrack. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why that is actually, because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tracks on this entire vinyl. It's one disc, one disc vinyl. So I'm not sure why they did that. I might have to read into that actually. I didn't even realise it till now. But. But, you know, got the CD soundtracks, got the special edition soundtracks. Um, so we've got all the music, but it is it is cool to hear it on vinyl. Um, I'd like to chuck it on while I'm... I can't do it. I, I tried doing it a couple of weeks ago while I was cleaning, but of course I was moving furniture around and the whole thing was just skipping. So it was frustrating. Um, all right, now we move on to The Force Awakens. Incredible soundtrack. Uh, I'm going to put it up there as... I'm going to say it's my favourite. Um... It's hard because there's like lots of good tracks from each film, but I don't know. I listened to the soundtrack of this for 12 months in the car. I didn't change the CD in the car for 12 months. So if I wanted to listen to something else, I'd plug in the phone, but I'd always be drawn back to this. Um, yeah, John Williams is absolutely incredible on this. It's a, it's a nice cover too. Um, you can see it's sort of holographic, um, the star field. Beautiful shot of the Falcon being chased down by the tires on Jakku. And yeah, this is the uh, soundtrack I was talking about before that had the um, 
little holograms on the on the vinyl disc itself that when you shine the light on it it reflects back and it looks like a TIE fighter spinning around and then on the other disc it's a Millennium Falcon so it was pretty awesome um, Last Jedi um, really not as strong as The Force Awakens um, it's sort of growing a lot of those themes from the first one into what they're probably going to be so there's just a lot of theme development in this one there's some good stuff on here though there's some really amazing stuff um, just trying to think the rebellion is reborn that's sort of a um, almost a concert suite um, yeah some of the stuff from crate at the end the battle of crate's got some good moments in it old friends up to Ireland and just the opening piece um, which is main title and escape is pretty pretty amazing as well um, I'm a big fan of The Last Jedi it's, it's an incredible movie I love it a lot I know it's not everyone's but I really like it um, and yeah I'll, the soundtrack's pretty amazing too but we'll move on so I've got The Clone Wars um, now this one was only available online. It wasn't available on compact disc on CD. Um, get it digitally. So pretty simple cover. Kevin Kiner. Um, some of the early Clone Wars stuff I wasn't really into. Um, it grew on me. A lot of it has grown on me. And... Um, yeah, some of the tracks on this, particularly we're looking at Ahsoka's Fall, Ahsoka Leaves. Um, I'm just quickly scanning through here. There's some some beautiful stuff. Um, and Kevin Kiner, he just he did such a great job. Um, I think the reason it seems so jarring early on is it's just it wasn't John Williams. So it took a lot to sort of come around to something different. And it was slightly different, but... Yeah, did some absolutely amazing pieces of music for that series. Um, but yeah, now we're moving on to Rogue One by Michael Giacchino. It's another pretty amazing soundtrack. Um, he's used a lot of John Williams uh, motifs from A New Hope and sort of expanded on that as well. So we get a little bit of the... Uh, Empire sort of themes from A New Hope um, intertwined with a new Imperial theme, which is really good. Um, Your Father Would Be Proud. That's a, that's a tearjerker. That's, uh, that's that last bit of the movie where, you know, the, uh, the Death Star's fired on Scarif. And uh, it's that moment up until Vader boards the Tantive, or not the Tantive, but he boards Radis's ship, um, which I'm blanking on the name of the second, but... Again, a pretty amazing soundtrack. Um, I hope I hope we get to see more, get to hear more, hear more from Michael Giacchino and his interpretation of Star Wars music in the future. I think it'd be really good. I think he did a great job. Much like um, John Powell did with the solo soundtrack. I really, really love that soundtrack. But um, yeah, here it is. This is my original. Still got the sticker on the top. Winner of seven Academy Awards. Best original score. I love that it's got the uh, the ring, like the wearing ring around it from where the disc is inside. Um, $10.30 it cost. I'm not sure when he bought this one. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure, but this still has the poster in it, um, which is pretty awesome. It's in reasonably good condition, but um, yes, yeah, and it plays well. I've, I've played it. But yeah, it's just nice to have an original copy, and I'd like to chase down the original uh, Empire and Jedi soundtracks as well. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share them. It's just another aspect of my collection that I don't really get to show off, um, and I'd like to share I want to start sharing some other odd bits of my collection just as opposed to just sharing action figures all the time um, 
which is cool. Which I, that's probably my favourite part of my collection. But I've got some cool stuff as well that I'd like to. I'd like to share more and have a bit to say about it. So this was a good chance for me to do that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think below. Um, and until my next video, may the force be with you guys.